In the previous video, we learned what caused and ended the first ever ice age. And in this video, we are going to see what caused and ended two of the most dangerous ice ages that the earth has ever seen. If you haven't already, make sure to watch my previous video before this one. Also, a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. So without any further delay, let's start today's video. The Cryogenian Ice Age was the second ice age and lasted about 85 million years from 720 to 635 million years. This ice age was formed because of continental drifts and global rainfall, similar to the formation of the Huronian Ice Age. Now let's learn about the formation of this ice age in detail. Some 719 million years ago, the supercontinent of Rodinia started to break apart. And when supercontinents like these break up, it heats up the sea floor, which in turn causes the water to evaporate pretty quickly. The evaporation of the seawater caused massive rainfall all over the planet, which reduced the Earth's temperature drastically. This drop in temperature triggered the incoming ice age. The Cryogenian Ice Age was the most extreme out of the five ice ages that the Earth has ever seen. The reason why this ice age was the most extreme was because during the glaciation periods, the polar caps and the continental glaciers extended all the way from the poles to the equator, covering every inch of the planet and making it look like a giant snowball. The Earth during that time was referred to as the Snowball Earth. Every ice age has its end. And in the case of the Cryogenian Ice Age, it ended similar to the Huronian Ice Age. The loss of precipitation and the release of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide because of the volcanoes caused global warming. This global warming slowly started melting all the ice and eventually ended the chapter of the most terrifying ice ages of all. The end of the Cryogenian Ice Age saw the rise of creatures like scorpions, butterflies and the other arthropods. Also during that time, creatures like snails and other mollusca started to appear on the Earth. Roughly 185 million years later, meteors from space started falling onto the Earth which increased the amount of stratospheric dust on the planet. Stratospheric dust is nothing but the dust which is present in the stratosphere once the meteors start hitting the ground. This stratospheric dust decreased the temperature of the planet by reflecting sunlight back into space. The decrease in carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere during that time also reduced the Earth's temperature significantly. There was also a drop in sea level during that time, the reason for which is not known till now. All these factors lowered the Earth's temperature and triggered an ice age. The Andean Saharan Ice Age. This was the third ice age and lasted 30 million years from 450 to 420 million years. As the sea levels dropped during that time, it gave more place for the ice to form. This ice age started in places like Saudi Arabia, the Sahara and Western Africa and extended all the way up to South America. Once the ice sheets reached too far out, they started collapsing on themselves and started melting, thus ending the third ice age. The end of this ice age saw the appearance of many plants on the surface of the earth. Although plants had appeared much before the start of the Third Ice Age, but the end of the Third Ice Age saw the rise of even more plants. So to recap, we learned that the breaking apart of Rodinia caused the water to evaporate and caused global rainfall. This rainfall cooled the planet and caused the Second Ice Age. We also learned that the loss of precipitation and volcanic activity which released greenhouse gases caused global warming and ended the Second Ice Age. We also learned that the third ice age was formed because the meteors fell onto the earth and increased the amount of dust. This dust reflected the sunlight back into space and reduced the temperature of this earth. This, along with the carbon dioxide loss and the decrease in sea level, caused the formation of the third ice age. We also saw that the ice age ended because the ice sheet started collapsing on itself. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel and also feel free to leave your doubts and suggestions in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video.